Well, hello everyone, and welcome back. We're gonna do some more Starfield today. More exploration, just like last time. We've been at the same spot right here. In all honesty, I should have... Huh. Interesting, uh... Guy in that. Oop. That's not where I was aiming at all, was it? Take a look at that before we continue talking. Weird. It's like a manta ray, sort of. Huh. Cool. Anyway, as I was saying, I should have probably got into orbit of the next system rather than uh, <laughs> messing around over here. But uh, that's fine. We're going to... Karine? I think we can pronounce it. Oh, we got a lot of planets here, so... Let's once again start off with the first planet, which looks like it's just a rocky... Uh, nothing, to be honest. A lot of debris and space around here. Also, we got a uh, security ship. Hello, is that of heading the Nope. Don't. Nope. No. 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 No, oh, shut up! I hate that ship. I hate that ship so much. Okay. We're scanning this one, and it looks like, yeah, it's, it's gonna be just a rocky nonsense thing. All of it's just craters. It's it's a planet, but it's really just a glorified moon, to be honest. It doesn't look like anything special. I actually don't even need to get off the ship. Let me just take a look around. That's just a prefab facility. Oh, oh. Yeah. Just a barren landscape. The next planet, we have the resources. It looks a little bit better, but it still just looks like a crater planet. Who's this ship? Nope. That ship, uh... <clears throat> It's basically a husband and a wife asking for directions. And you can side with either the wife or the husband, or tell them both to go screw themselves. You know, as one does. But, uh, I don't like them. You'll get random encounters like that sometimes when you're in space, and, uh... All my turrets just decided to point over that way for whatever reason. Um, what's over there, guys? Yeah, this planet also looks rather barren. There's actually no structures nearby, is there? None at all. Nope, I think I see one right over there. Right in the distant horizon over there. Can you see it? Yeah, but again, nothing really worth our time and effort to explore here. We can then shift over to the moon, scan it. It's got some helium and stuff, but again, it looks like it's not going to be anything special. Looks like it's going to be just a rocky little moon, so... Yeah. Let's take a, a nice little land on it. And see what exactly there is here. It looks like there's actually a landing pad a little bit behind me. And it's a lot more red than the uh, 
space view made it out to be, didn't it? There's like a little uh, outpost there, kinda. Really nothing too fancy. Nice and tranquil. Nothing. Okay. Let's go back out. So... Ah. Again, I'm curious why that one's gray, that one's gray, this one's not gray. Maybe because this one has, like, traits? And that's why that one is different? I think this might just be a gas giant. Yep, so we can't even land there. There's no point dealing with that. This one... Yeah, it looks like it's just an ice cube. Uh, there, there's nothing on this planet if we look at it. Um, if we, you know, I can't just go around to the other ones. I think we'll just do scans from orbit for most of these. <clears throat> there's a science outpost, but I don't think we want to deal with that. And then this one has a mining outpost, but again, it's a deep freeze planet, which means there's Probably nothing on this planet at all. It just looks a little bit different. That's the thing. When you get too far away from the uh, the inner area, there's just not a lot there. Let's search this one, which also looks like it's a gas giant. Nothing there. This one is just a rock. Oops. I clicked the wrong thing. This one also is just a, just a moon. Nothing on it. So, these aren't just necessarily useless places, because you do need the resources if you're going to make your own outpost and manufacture stuff, right? We can take a look at the CM station. I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's set course here. And take a look at that. Our first place to actually look at on this uh, area. Because everything else is just nothing. CM. Colonial military station, maybe? I don't know what else it could mean. Also, yeah, I'm not using my boot tuber model because I think it just affects the performance negatively. I should have actually done like a little circle, uh, looked around from my ship. But this is actually an interesting planet. I've never seen these rock formations at another planet before. So it's actually kind of neat to see the uh, like rocky like pillars rising up from the, the ground there. Anyway, consolidated mining, that's what that means. CM, okay. Oh, yep, this place has been taken over by uh, ecliptic mercenaries. Why don't I go ahead and uh, get a nice bird's eye view? Got that guy. Let's just kind of do some spotting here quick before we jump into combat. I only see that guy, though. Wait. This place looks... Hmm. Looks exactly like a mission place. Where'd the other guy go? I don't see anyone else moving around. I think they're all inside. All right, let's go get them. Yeehaw. As they say. There's a guy over here, it looks like. Or not. 
not. Maybe he's on top of the building. I don't know. Ray, advanced mag shot. This guy at behind the building? Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. Ah, I should have pulled out the melee weapon and killed him when he was down. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to raise my melee stat. All right, since we're going to be hiding in buildings here. That's very rude of them. Okay. So he's going to be on top. Fine. Ooh. That's a neat helmet. I'll take that for right now. Sort out if it's actually good or not later. What do we got here? 22. Don't you run? That's the last. Oh yeah, Commandant. Hmm? Go. Again, should have finished him off with the uh, melee weapon, but... Still not that good for armor. I think the last guy's on the roof here. Um, we can deal with him in just a moment. Let's search this area for any ammunition and stuff. Everything I want here. Okay. Let's go kill roof guy. Maybe he's actually fully behind here, huh? Might as well get a, uh, a miss, apparently. Never mind. Get out of here. Goddamn. Sluggy thing. That thing was actually fucking huge. What the hell was that? A heat leech? It looked so much larger before, did it not? So, I'm not gonna unlock that. Yeah, okay. So this is turning out to be exactly like the uh, story mission. So if I go down there, it would take me through a mine, which would then take me out up here, which would be my, my exit path from there. This door is currently sealed and whatnot. That's fine. So yeah, I don't think I want to go through this, uh, mainly because if you have not played this mission yet, then it's uh, kind of spoilers. So I don't actually know if this is the same location that the story mission takes place in. I think it's for the, uh, uh, I, I forgot their name, um, the corporate people place, those guys, but, uh, I think all that's left is this place, 
the, the corporate faction. Those guys. I don't know if they're the ones uh, who send you this place, or if it's a different location that's just the same prefab area, but let's go ahead and get that certification unlocked right here. You can scan any planet or moon within 30 light years. You have a 50% chance to discover a trait. Nice. That really matters a whole lot to me, but... Might as well also grab that one. Critical hits with non-automatic weapons without a scope do double damage, and those with scopes knock down enemies on the next shot. That... Pretty cool. Yeah, it was non-automatic weapons, so that's going to get up there pretty quick. Okay. Oh, looks like I have a little bit of radiation stuff I'm taking. But since we're here, I might as well take in the sights of this area. I I'm actually fairly certain that this is not the planet that the story mission, or the I guess the side story faction mission takes place on. It's just the same location. So if you've not played it, then it kind of uh, ruins it, right? Because it, it'd be the same thing as doing the story mission, essentially. So we're not going to do this place. That's just going to be how it is. Um, so yeah, I think I scanned these and it was just a whole lot of nothing. So that's all these done. Again, I'm not sure what... Oh, does the green mean it's like habitable or something? And then the the gray means it's just a rock. That has to be what it means. But this isn't habitable. It's a deep freeze and there was nothing there. Right? Or were there planets here? Not planets, um... Fauna or something. I guess we didn't take off, but... So, the orange means it's a gas giant. The gray must mean that it's a, uh... Like, rocky location that is just rock and then type barren type rock type gas giant type ice type ice ice rock yeah okay gotcha well that's i guess that area finished in like 20 minutes not bad let's go to uh eta cassiopeia eta cassiopeia i don't know Let's start with the gas giant here. We can go ahead and actually scan it. And, uh, not have anything. Let's, let's jump into the system first. Just, to uh, give a good old call try. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, yeah, Cassiopeia, when we had <clears throat> this little rock, which has nothing on it, it's just a rock. We've got this Cassiopeia moon, which is it's just an ice boy. And this guy, which actually looks like it would have some sort of life on it, doesn't it? Let's travel to this planet. Let's just take a look at it. It, it, it seems way too far away to have life, but... It does look interesting, don't it? So we have ocean, ocean, plateau, rocky desert, mountains. Okay, let's go to plateau. Where was it at? I literally saw a plateau here somewhere. Y'all, what are you what are you doing? Because a plateau would seem more interesting. Okay. <coughs> so it looks like it's a an ocean world. But it has, like, some land to it. It feels like it's going to be still barren, though, given the distance from the location, right? Wow, it, it actually has greenery? Huh. It actually has greenery and life forms, does it? Okay. Well, that's interesting. I don't think there's any real reason for us to get off our ship, however. 
because there's no like landmarks or anything like that around, right? I mean, there are landmarks like that's over there and that's right over there, but I mean, there's nothing like on the, the, the scouted map here. It's just interesting that this is a like, because this is going around here, which means for like a day, it only goes like here, but otherwise it's like on the outer edges, right? I just cannot believe that it has life on it. That seems weird. Go to Cassiopeia 1. Seems like it will also be a... The Valentine, I think, is like one of my favorite random ship encounters because it's he's, he's sing, singing a sea shanty. It's 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 nice, right? Anyway, a con coniferous forest, huh? Coniferous? I, mean, I hate sciencey terms. Anyway, let's check this location out. Okay, we're in a nice little uh, forest clearing, pretty cool, we got some rain coming down, can see some animals walking around outside, those look almost like T-Rexes, don't they? Or like dinosaurs, kinda, but they're not really dinosaurs. Another one right over there. Different one, like a four-legged, uh, like a lizard almost. Right there, but again, I don't think there's a reason for us to get outside right now. I mean, it's just plants, some animals. So I think instead we will scout out our next planet. Let's take a look at these. Now this place, it also looks habitable. Is Cassiopeia just like a, uh, uh? Explorer's dream for all that stuff. It does have an asteroid field. We can get rid of some of these. Nice and smaller, there we go. A global glacial recession, huh? Rocky desert, hills, mountains. Wetlands. I think wetlands is one of the few places I, I may not have been. I don't remember if I've been to a wetlands before. So, we'll take a look. It looks literally like everything else, doesn't it? I guess there's some water pools over there. You know, we've not really looked at water yet, have we? So, we might as well. So, I think it was towards the head of the, the vessel over here. I'm going to actually zoom in so I don't see my character's body and stuff. Uh, there's kind of just exposed uranium around, though, so I don't know about swimming in any of it. A lot of chlorine here, too. These probably aren't good pools to be, like, swimming in. So might as well take a look. It'll give me a radiation warning or something when I get in them anyway, so. Uranium. 
There is uh, coral salines. And hey, this is actually a dead planet. There's no flora or fauna around, is there? Yep, it's a microbial contaminated area. So, not a good place to be in. Now we just need a source of water, and we would have this planet fully surveyed. What is... is that more water? Yeah, it looks like more water. It's a shame I can't scan that for water, huh? But I can scan that one. Might as well just finish the survey while I'm here. There we go. Survey complete. All known resources have been scanned. Huh. Surprisingly, this one is not a habitable land. Huh. What about this place? A deserted biotics lab. Or at least that's something we can take a look at, isn't it? I was expecting this moon to have plants and stuff, given how the rest of the planets look. Oh, we got spacers. Oh, time to show you how my stuff goes. Oop. So I just want to point out, if my crosshair was not near an enemy ship, I was not manually firing. Most of that battle was done by my turrets automatically firing. So that's how that goes. Get wrecked. Yeah, so as you can see, my ship is very adept at combat, being able to take out all of those ships solo. Um, very nice. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Also why I love the automated turrets. You don't have to be looking at the ship in order to shoot it. They'll automatically, if they're in range, they'll start shooting at the ship. So it's, it's very nice to uh, have that. This is a neat little area right down here. I really wish there was more like outpost related things you could do. The outpost system is not great, I will admit, in this game. Ooh, a corrosive shoddy. It's a shame it's one of those guns though. A hand, like it's a one-handed shotgun. I don't like the look of it. Never used that weapon actually. So it could actually be really cool. Because until I used the Mag Storm, not the Mag Storm, the uh, Mag Shear, I guess it's called, I never really thought it was good either. I just saw low damage numbers and I was like, meh. But maybe it's actually good. They might be inside there. That guy's crouching down. Oh, there's one. My aim, no! Don't, don't go back behind there. You piece of shit. Okay, got it. Nice. All right, let's. Oh, hey, bud. I wasn't expecting someone to be in here. 
So yeah, if you really wanted to loot everything, you could. Like, there's uh, food goods that restore your health. There's that sealant and lubricant and these isotopic coolants that you could loot, which are crafting materials and whatnot. But I, I don't plan on doing much crafting or anything here. Whilst we are just exploring. So there's just no real need to uh, have me do that. There they are. The guys I had previously shot. Eva's directive. Already read that. I wish it was easier to join the pirates. It'd be so much nicer if I could just join the pirates and explore this place without having to kill them all. But in order to do that, I have to get in trouble with the law or complete a, another quest. Which is, it's just so annoying. Because then I have to like talk to like, I think it's like 30 minute investment in order to get like the quest to even start the pirate thing. And then like actually officially become a member of the pirates. There's another like hour or maybe 30 minutes an hour mission you have to do in order to uh, officially join them. Ooh. Resources wave 25% less. That's actually pretty neat. I'll take that. Old Earth hunting rifle. My yeah. current one's better. I think there's one guy left alive out here somewhere. Yep, right there. Well, he's downed. Let's go get him. Hey, loot containers. Nice. Which is over here and scavenging. There's a chance you'll find extra aid items like meds when searching containers. Sure. It's always nice to have. Okay. It looks like the outside of this place has been uh, observed and all that. So, let's see if we can get inside here. Anti-personnel rattler. I don't even know why I'm looking at it. I don't like the rattler as a weapon. Okay. Microbials, food and stuff, okay. Desert Biotics Lab, let's take a look. I, I've not seen this place before, so it's new for me, new for you. And it means if we see it in the future, we can ignore it. Ooh, that gave me two. I've already seen the benefits of that perk unlock. Yeah? <laughs> easy money. Is it? Is it easy money? Hey buddy, let me just uh Ooh. Delgado's directive, huh? I haven't read that one yet. Remember those morons fighting? 
Tracker's Alliance has some really good physical defense there. I'm not actually aware of that now. Let's take a look. So compared to mine, it's a little bit worse, but I think I do want to actually get like out of this because I don't really care about the airborne resistance or the O2 while uh, firing on the move. Or accuracy of fire on the move, or the incoming physical damage from ranged weapons. Doesn't matter too much. Let's just real quick put on a uh, helmet and stuff to make sure I'm not gonna start suffocating here. Okay, so it looks like this is the helmet that I want to use. Damage from human enemies, which is really all we're finding right now. And thermal resistance, perfect. Yeah, it looks good. We'll do that. So that's 95 plus our suit, which is 80, 189, which already puts us over the physical that we've been having for this single suit. So that's great. And then we, of course, need to put on a pack, which is going to be this one. But as we go, we'll find better packs and stuff like that. So here's what our character is going to look like now. And go for that. All right. <clears throat> Where does this lead me? What do you got, computer? Not much headway, valuable assets. Unlock office door, open storage room. I know I heard something. I'm gonna come back through here. Should be another vent over here that I can exit out of. Yep, all right. Y'all don't see me. Oh, those were all sneak attacks. Nice. like. I think I'll have to get down if I want to shoot them. Oh, they're inside that room. I don't think I can actually get them without going into that area. I can walk across here for now, though. They come out of there, which they might. I can get them. Oh man, you better come check on your teammate. Come on, a little closer. A little closer, sir. Just a little further to your right. Let me just shoot him in the leg. Okay, there we go. Now then, what do you got for me here? Oh, a new backpack, I guess. Do -do 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 -do. It's not better in terms of the, the special stats, 
for the uh, the O2 consumption. I'd rather have that than the uh, incoming melee damage and corrosive resistance. But it does increase physical energy and EM resistance a lot, so we might as well equip that. <clears throat> Okay, what have we got in here? A safe, then we got a rapid tonto, don't care. Take that. Don't care about anything else there, okay. Sparkling water, ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. What else we got here? Weapon case. That, don't care about that gun. Ooh. Yeah, I don't care about that gun. Um, we got some trauma and bandages. Whoa, fucking oh. Jesus! Where did he come from? He, he, really snuck up behind me. Uh, did he like jump down from somewhere or something? What the hell? Startled the hell out of me. Okay. Well. Anything else can you do? We got an office key. I guess that would just lead me back up to... There, yeah. I could have came through here to begin with, yeah. I didn't really search much in here. Minor jacket, don't care about that. Just a folder, just decorations. <laughs> I'll look at searching this area first though. So, there's that door there. And there's this area here. I'm gonna just say no to that. Just a couple of digger arms, and that's all that's there. Okay. I don't care too much about that nonsense. We got ammo. Take those credits. Honestly, I don't know why I keep picking up credits. It's not like I need them. It's just kind of force a habit. Um, not some bad helmet. What's this? Kelly's slate. I think it's sweet that John and his crew gave up their leave to build that ramp for Kalen. Poor guy. Don't know. Okay. Well, that's not good. And do they mean that ramp? Have I looted your body? I have not. Is there anything up here that I uh, missed? Doesn't look like it. So we have a, another weapon case here. A Nova Light, which I don't care about. And we have this, which requires a key. Hmm. Oh, hey. Entryway key. Now, is this where I came from? I think it might be. Yeah, there's dead bodies here. Okay. Um. In that case... So, before... So I shot this guy when I came up here last time. Cyberware, streetwear. What's that look like? Okay. Eh, 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 eh. Keep hitting books. Okay. okay. Then the last area we have to check is this, which I guess just leads us outside. Never mind. So that was the deserted biolab. 
Nothing too fancy. Nothing at all. We can check out the roof and stuff here, though. That guy. There's a weapon crate over here. With a riveter. Don't care about that. Credits. Okay. Well, that's that. Not much else here. Alright. Back to the journey. So, we scouted that, scouted that, scouted that. Last thing we have to do is this area over here. Cassiopeia 3. This one's just a ball of helium and aluminum. This thing also looks like it's just a... Good old nothing. But, it does have a location. An abandoned outpost. Let's take a look. Who that? Who that? You see dagger, huh? And that's about it. Just you see dagger, huh? Okay. Now let's land. See what we got. Ah, uh, spacers. <sighs> now, spacers are sort of like the ecliptic, except spacers aren't mercenaries, they're just kind of like bandits. Essentially, they are less heavily armed ecliptic. Because the ecliptic, they, uh, they're basically bandits, except the ecliptic are mercenaries. So you can, like, buy them to, like, defend places for you or all that kind of stuff. They're officially mercenaries, not bandits. <laughs> Even though they act like bandits all the time. Um, the spacers... They're just complete bandits. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And then the pirates... Well, they're pirates. The pirates want your loot. The spacers want your loot and your lives. So that's kind of how that works. So if you wanted to rank the three of them in terms of the faction that is the least chaotic to the most chaotic, it would go uh, from the bottom, Spacers, Pirates, Ecliptic. Wait, what was this? Helium-3 Extraction Site. Okay. Uh, let's eliminate the keys. So that eliminated three, okay. Um, that's not it. We can go there, which I might as well do for that. This guy can go here, <clears throat> and then there. And I can do that one and this one. And then I fucked up. Pretty sure. So I can do that. 
Actually, no, I didn't fuck up. There we go. Nice. All right. What do we have here? Stairway down. Storage crate I don't want to open. Okay. Nothing here. Bathroom. <clears throat> oh man, what a bathroom. I'll take all the medical supplies though. We'll probably end up needing them later. Solomon's Adventures. Add 5% critical to melee damage. I think I've used grenades like twice in all of my playtime. Which is not a whole lot. Considering how many you find. I just don't find them to be reliable. I'd rather just shoot someone in the face with a body a bunch of times rather than throw grenades and potentially hurt myself when them ricocheting off the walls. So... I'm gonna have to pick this, huh? Okay. Eliminate the ones I'm not gonna use. I might as well since I have a bunch of lock picks here. All right, so we can do that. Which screwed me up. Great. So I'll do. Got a hole that has all of them there. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Someone's out there. No, they ain't. Damn. I wasn't expecting to be right outside the door. Waiting for. Come on. Just barely got a shot off. This motherfucker came up here running on me. Oh dang. This guy I think he's talking to like that, huh? Leave before I make you. I won't be able to one-shot that guy. Get out now. Hey, that guy I one shot though. <clears throat> You know, until we started the uh, the exploration, uh, my ra, 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 recording of this anyway, I never really used stealth. I would always just go in guns blaze and, and whatnot. But I figured I would kind of switch things up, you know? 
spacer communication. Uh, I don't care about the spacers. I'll take it anyway. Might as well have something to listen to, I guess. Listen up, scumbag. The assholes are on the move, and we've got to be ready. No, not the UC. Not the Free Star Collective. The ones that matter. Pirates, mercs, and those religious nut jobs. We always knew there were some places left over from the colony war. Bases left. We heard this previously, like didn't we? But now it's come out that there are even more. A lot more. Spread all over the settled systems. Oh man. That looks, looks like so the cool though. They didn't play by their own rules when they were playing war. Now it's a friggin' feeding frenzy. Everyone trying to find them. Trying to use them. So why shouldn't we? We have just as much right as they do. So let's go looking. All right, came from there. Let's take a look at the rest of this stuff. Kill the, the lions. Oh, that just takes me back out to here. I guess that was a cave entrance. Huh. We gotta leave now. Oh, I didn't think they were still alive. Not a bad gun, but not for me. Actually, that, uh, that gun. Man, I might take that. I think it's better than my current weapon that I'm using as a sniper. It just doesn't have a suppressor, so maybe not, actually. I think with the suppressor attached. This thing's better. I'll ignore that one for now. Also, it's not special, so why bother? Ow. Hmm. Thought the crate was open. All right. <clears throat> well, that was this little area. Partially explored. What? Is there more? See any other openings? Maybe there were. Maybe there's some more people somewhere around up here. You don't belong here. Last warning. Here we go. Where the hell are you? Right here. Hi. Rifle certification upgraded. Virtual armor penetration. Enemy armor is decreased by 25 for 6 seconds with a critical hit. Rifles reload 30% faster when you're standing still. Nice. Anything else? I don't see any twinkling, so I guess not. Trauma pack. Repairs report. Okay. You see, helium is important because the grav drives of the spaceships require helium in order to go. So if you don't have helium, you can't go nowhere. Which means for like pirates and stuff. Okay, so the last people were there. Uh, for pirates and stuff, in order to power their grav drives, they need to have the uh, the helium, which is why they came to this planet, which there was apparently some helium equipment for that mine, which we were just at. Okay, so that uh, appears to be this area done in terms of exploration of that little area. Like I mentioned, we're not going to loot everything or go to every single part of the planet or survey everything. We're just going to search the star system for anything that seems interesting. Any uh, little thing that's, you know, on a planet that has a marker, all that good jazz. But that's all for this one, everyone. We did this one, so not a whole lot to do. 
and we're at an hour, so I think that's a good stopping point. Next, we'll look at Bessel and Yazi, and kind of go from there. Yeah. All right. Till then. Bye bye.